Hello, you fine internet folks. We're here at Computex in, well, not so sunny Taipei. As you can tell, I am soaked right now. Uh, just came out of the Intel GPU briefing where they're announcing their Intel Arc Pro B series cards. This is, a, this is a successor to the Intel Arc Pro A series, which used the Alchemist architecture. The B series, of course, is using the Battle Mage architecture or XE2. Now, they're announcing two new GPUs, B50 and B60. Starting with B50 first, because that's the easier product to put to a market, so to speak. B B50 has 16 XE2 cores, 16 gigabytes of GDDR6, which is unfortunately running at 14 gigabit per second on a 128-bit bus. So that gives you only 224 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. However, you do have 170 peak uh, int 8 tops. And the board only has a TBP of 70 watts. So honestly, for a little, and it's a quite, I, I have some images uh, that we'll put here. Honestly, an adorable card. Um, half height, um, the length of the PCIe uh, slot, perfect for a, a little uh, SFF uh, system. Uh, PCIe 5.0 X8. So unlike the the client GPUs, these are PCIe 5, and an MSRP of 300 US dollars. Whoa! That's now not, that's not yeah. Yeah, um, the card we saw uh, actually has a neat little blue uh, backplate uh, with four display outs, but it's mini DP. So that's that's the one sort of uh, fly there. But honestly, you can you can get away with it. Um, and I will say personally, the 224 gigabyte per second uh, bandwidth is a bit wish it was higher. But for 70 watts, that's your compromise. B60, on the other hand, gives me, I'm a bit frustrated here. 24 gigabytes of RAM, 456 gigabytes of memory bandwidth. This is essentially a 24 gigabyte uh, B580. 197 peak intake tops, uh, 20 XE cores, uh, 120 to 200 uh, watts TBP, PCIe 5.0 x8 with uh, PCIe peer-to-peer -peer enabled, so that allows you to directly DMA between different cards. SRIOV later this year, uh, along with uh, VDI support, also likely by end of year. <laughs> However, there's no MSRP. You will not be able to buy these open market until at least 2026. You will only be able to buy these in what Intel is calling battle matrix systems with, uh, these are Xeon CPUs that are paired with four or eight B60s in a system between five and $10,000 for the full system. This is kind of a disappointment. I think this is a bit of a mess for Intel. Um, I would really have liked to have seen these at, they said that the approximate value of the card is 500 USD. Even if they had marked these at 650, honestly, I could see a market here because that's the cheapest way that I know of to get 24 gigabytes on a card right now. So it's a bit disappointing. Um, Moving on to software feature roadmap, and this is the reason why they're not selling uh, B50 or B60 until Q3 and 26 respectively, is uh, for Q3, they're going to have containers and VLLM support um, and better VLLM support supposedly later in Q3. Early Q3's uh, VLLM enablement mostly. Um, and Q4 is going to be VDI and SRIOV. Um, yeah, uh, it's, 
I really wish that B fifty uh for the seventy for the seventy watt like power. Honestly, I can take the two twenty four gigabyte per second memory bandwidth. But I really think that if Intel had sold B sixty as a VDI card or as something with SROV in Q4, I think they would really have a market, and I think this is kind of a mess, personally. However, who's to say? Maybe they'll sell out. Well, they almost certainly will sell out of cards. Um, and I will admit, the Battle of Matrix name is a very cool name. So thank you for joining me for the latest Intel GPU news from Computex. As always, I'm George from Chips and Cheese. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. Um, consider supporting us on Patreon, as well as checking out all of our written reviews. Uh, as always, links will be in the description. And if you do just sort of decide to donate, it is tax deductible. So thank you so much. There will be more news from Computex and have a good one, folks.